And so what it tells us to do um, right here with the setup, it says to power up our micro bit by connecting the battery pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the battery pack here real quick. Nothing fancy. Um, not gonna be needing this cable yet. But I'll go ahead and just, just gonna go ahead and take it out of the package just so it's ready. Um, our batteries. So we'll just go ahead here and uh, slide this down. Add our two batteries in here real quick. Slide this lid right back on. All right, and then it says we will just power it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here right to the top here to where the battery pack signal goes. And it tells me that it should light up. Ooh, and there you go, you can see it. And it tells me here that it's actually going to ask me to press buttons when ready. So, I don't know if you can read that, but it just said, hello? A. So it's telling me to press the A button there. I don't know if you can see that. But now it's asking me to press the B button. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now I'm going to play Snake here, or no, not Snake, <laughs> if I can read, huh? what a dork, it says to shake it, um, so if I shake it here, now it's saying chase the dot. So now I gotta tilt the BBC micro bit according to my instructions down here to chase the dot. There, got it. Now it's telling me to get coding. Now get coding. All right, so there it is. I just went through these four things here in the, in the manual. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And um, this has some basic ideas. It's gonna tell me here to go to the microbit.org website, which is phenomenal. Um, pick the coding editor that I want and jump into there. So let's go jump to the computer screen and uh, get started with all this good work. All right, guys. Here we are, moving on.